Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you that a diagonal matrix has a simple determinant formula, and we're going to derive this formula. Note that the same is true for triangular matrices, um, and I dedicate a different video to proving uh, the determinant formula for triangular matrices, and that proof is very similar to what we're going to do here. Uh, now, um, I also have another video that I've already made explaining why this here uh, is a good definition for the determinant of any n by n matrix. And so we're going to apply this definition in the situation where we have a diagonal n by n matrix. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, uh, this uh, definition of the determinant for any n by n matrix is written so that we add along um, rows by fixing a column. So we need to fix a column the way that this is written here. Uh, if you want to add along columns by fixing rows, you just change that i into j, and that's all that's required. Now, as I said, we have to fix a column. So, you know, I've just fixed the first column. Why not, right? So we're going to um, add along rows by fixing this column. So basically, uh, go through uh, these numbers down here. Now, notice that then, uh, except for when i equals 1, so except for a11, all of these guys are 0. In other words, the ai1s here are all 0 except for a11. And by the way, this formula is adopted to the situation where we have fixed j to be 1. And so like that's one right there, that's one right there, and that's one right there, and that's all that is, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. But as I said, all of the ai1s except for when i equals 1 are going to be 0. In other words, this whole sum is going to simply reduce to negative 1 uh, to the power of 1 plus 1 when i is equal to 1, and then a11 again when i is equal to 1, and then determinant of um, a11 bar. Everything else that comes after is a 0. Uh, and so this here is followed, this here is followed by n minus 1 zeros. But, you know, I don't even know if I should bother writing uh, the zeros. I guess they terminate at some point. So we could go plus 0 and end. Um, okay, cool. So, but they're all zero. So I could just write that this is, first of all, negative one to the second power is just one, so I won't bother. So this is just a11 times the determinant of a11 bar. Now, in the video where I talk about this definition, I um, talk about what aij bar is in general. So here I've just showed you what a11 bar is, and otherwise I'm not gonna talk about it in uh, more detail. Um, basically, you uh, go to where A11 is and cross out uh, the uh, row and column that contains it, and then you get this matrix, which is A11 bar. So now what we have to do is find the determinant of A11 bar. So find the determinant of this diagonal matrix, and this diagonal matrix is like N minus 1 by N minus 1. So basically, we're going to do exactly what we did with this matrix A to start uh, to find the determinant of A11 bar. And what we do, as you can imagine, uh, what we're going to have to write is a11, and then for the determinant of a11 bar, we're going to be able to write a22, because a22 here is like uh, the first entry in uh, a11 bar in the matrix a11 bar. So yeah, basically we're mimicking what we did over here. So we, we're going to write a22, and then it's going to be times the determinant of, you guessed it, it's going to be the determinant of a22 bar, right? Okay, and so... Uh, this is going to continue to happen, so we can write dit A is going to equal A11, A22, um, and then A33, you get it, A44, dot, 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 and then finally we'll be able to write uh, AN minus 1, AN minus 1, right? And then times the determinant of uh, AN minus 1 a n minus one bar uh, but wait uh the matrix that is a n minus one a n minus one bar this matrix is just going to be a one by one matrix containing the entry a n n and so this is just going to be the determinant of uh, a one by one matrix that just has one entry and that entry is a n n so by definition this is going to be a n n so the determinant of a is uh, for this diagonal matrix and for any n by n uh, diagonal matrix is just going to be the product of the diagonals. So a11 uh, times a22 uh, times a33 for very similar reasons, same is true for 
um, triangular matrices. It's just the product of the diagonals of those triangular matrices. Yeah, okay, cool. So if you uh, really uh, like, uh, we could do uh, one more and write it a bit more succinctly uh, as this, right? The product over i's, i equal one to n of a i i. Yeah, okay, cool. There it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Take care, bye.